Cisco Secure Workload, Windows Deep Visibility Agent Install. All right, from the dashboard, we're gonna go ahead and hit that service icon or the um, cog at the top here. We'll go to Software Agent and hit Configure. We'll go into the profiles here and we've got a default profile, but we can create our own. Enforcement, we've got things like um, it, enable, we got preserve rules, we got some broadcast, multicast, link local address, the defaults are enabled there. You've got some quotas for both CPU and memory. Visibility, we've got data plane auto upgrade and PID lookup. Again, the defaults are set. And then you got your quota as well. And then forensics, we've got um, forensics and meltdown exploit detection. We can save that out and then we can use that in our deployment. Now we pivot over to monitor. We've got enforcement agents, deep visibility agents, and universal agents. We get the health uh, view of that. Um, we also include our endpoints, AnyConnect, ICE agents, as well as flow ingest, which includes hardware switch agents or span agents. So sending flow from those devices. We can go over to distribution. And from distribution, we get again our health score. We can look at endpoint agents as well as flow agents. Convert and to enforcement agent. So if you have visibility deployed, you can convert it to enforcement as well as upgrades. When we go to agent lists, we get a list of agents that are installed, the versions, IP addresses, first check-in, last check-in. And now we'll jump to the installer. And we're gonna do the auto install using installers. That's recommended. And we'll go ahead and hit next. And we're gonna do deep visibility. Although most are doing enforcement, which includes deep invisibility. So uh, people are moving to micro segmentation basically. We want to pick the platform. There's no proxy in our environment. It shows all the supported platforms with this installer. So you do not need one for each um, flavor here and we'll download it. You can see it requires PowerShell to do the download. Here is a pre-check that you can certainly run against the asset and it's looking for PowerShell version four or higher. We'll go ahead and hit next here. And this just gives you some clear indication of all the command line parameters and what those um, options are. So let's go ahead and um, browse to the folder here that this has been downloaded to. And what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and check the uh, that Tetration's not installed here. So let's just scroll down a little bit here and I don't see anything with Tetration at all. So that's good. And we could also go to um, services and check that as well. And it would be called Cisco Tetration, and I don't see anything there. Even if we go down to T, yeah, there's nothing here. All right, so let's go ahead and jump back to that folder. We'll go ahead and open this. We'll run this in PowerShell. We'll go ahead and hit open. Once it does this, it talks about changing the execution policy. We'll go ahead and hit yes, and the installation starts. Now, this only takes a few seconds. So I think the total seconds for it to completely um, install and actually start sending metadata. Watch, when I, when I go into the client here, we're already gonna see data. I, I found this crazy fast. Now, we can see that Tetration agent show up here. If we jump back over to services, and we do a quick refresh. Let's get to the top here. We'll do a refresh and Cisco Deep Visibility Agent. We can see it, it is there. Fantastic. All right, so let's go back to our console and we'll hit next. And we can see that we've already saw a check-in here and we can see that, that IP address, the version, the platform first check in, it just checked in. We jump into it and we start seeing some data already. So we can see agent type, OS platform, agent version, um, scopes, annotations, uh, which are tags, so any association there. Long lived processes, we can see that. We can also see CPU usage and memory usage. 
scroll over, we've got anomaly score, verdict score, we see process binary hash. Now we're talking a few minutes after the agent's deployed. We're already getting some of this information. Here's a process snapshot. And again, we can drill into each one of these. And look at that, we see the actual user who executed and the file path as well. We go to interfaces, we can see all the interfaces on the asset, the IP addresses is associated to those interfaces, packages, nothing yet, so that hasn't come in. Remember, we're only a few minutes in, vulnerabilities, we're not seeing anything. Config, that obviously was copied over, no magic there. Now we've got some stats, again, not coming in, network anomalies, little bit that we're starting to see and show up. We can zoom into that as well. File hashes, nothing. And visit history, we start seeing some visited domains. Um, although we're only seeing IPs here and nothing more. So pretty cool. Within a few minutes, we get the agent installed and data coming in.